Welcome to NHL 22. In order to aim, one is simply going to use the left analog stick. There's a lot of different ways it can be used. That is also the stick you use to skate. Now, what we're going to do is look at some tricks that one can use to improve their scoring for both the wrist shot, the slap shot, the one-timer, as well as we're going to look at ways to even turn it off or change the settings if you don't like uh, the difficulty level uh, to make it easier to play. We're going to start out with a slap shot here. Now, to do a slap shot, all one needs to do is pull the right analog stick back and then flick it forward. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that you want to be stationary. You don't want to be moving really fast. Otherwise, you're going to overskate it and completely miss like we do right here. One of the nice things about the slap shot is that it has a lot of power. So basically the slap shot has a lot of power and can go all over the place. Again with the slap shot it can land in a bunch of different places. Doesn't always go in but sometimes you get that lucky bounce and a little tap from your opponent and they score their own goal. For those of us who are starting out it's best to attempt this in practice mode. One of the things you want to try not to do is move a lot when you're attempting it. You're going to need space from the defender. Here we have space there. We get a nice shot. Uh, it's got more power, which is nice. And that also means when you do miss, there's a chance for uh, weird caroms, weird bounces, and a lot of uh, rebound goals. Another cool thing about the slap shot is you can actually do a fake slap shot by pulling the right analog stick back and then letting go. And then you can use it to set up a wrist shot like we do right there. Wrist shots are much easier to get off. All one needs to do is push the right analog stick up and then use the left analog stick to aim. We're going to walk through three different ways to score with the wrist shot. So let's get started here. One cool move with the wrist shot is to simply deke strong side and then deke weak side. Here we're going to go ahead and skate. We got a left handed shooter. So we are going to deke to the left. That's with the right analog stick. Now, as we're moving with the left analog stick over to try to cross the goalie, we're going to switch our deke to the right side or the weak side. And then we're going to take the right analog stick and flick it up for the wrist shot and get a nice backhanded shot right there just past the goalie. One thing I like to do is change directions and skate across the ice. Here we have a left-handed shooter. So we're going to go from right to left. We're going to make our cut right about here. Okay. We're going to hit the speed boost right about there, create some separation. That's by pushing down the left analog stick, pushing in L3 as a button. Now we've got separation. We want to take our wrist shot when we're not using the speed boost so we can increase the accuracy. We're simply going to flick the right analog stick forward. We're going to use the left analog stick to aim. We're going to aim for the top right corner, and we get a nice goal right there. One-timers are a good strategy when your opponent is over-pursuing like they are right here, or, of course, if you're on the power play. Here we're skating up. We had two players pursuing number 16. We're going to go ahead and use the left analog stick to spin around, and then we're going to hold down R2 a little bit longer than normal so we get a hard pass. If you'll see on the left side of the screen, number 52 is open. That's where the pass is going. We're going to take the right analog stick and flick it up right now. And then use the left analog stick to aim. And we get a nice one-timer goal right there. Since one-timers can be uh, challenging, one might want to do like two-on-one, three-on-one, or something like that. So that they get enough practice where they can get the, the rhythm down for how to set it up. Because it, it takes a little while, but basically what you want to do is you want to hold down R2 and then fire the wrist shot when you get the open shooter. So we're looking for an open shooter here. Okay. Nobody's open yet. Okay. Now. And we get a nice goal. Dumping the puck can be a good strategy when short-handed. That way we can avoid getting called for icing. Uh, one thing you want to be wary of is dumping the puck into the bench. That can get a penalty. Uh, what we want to do to dump the puck is first we want to hold on R1. And the longer we hold it down, the further it's going to go. Think of it like a charge meter, but it's not going to show up as a meter on the screen. So we're going to hold down R1 extra long. We're going to use the left analog stick to aim. And then uh, to go ahead and dump it, 
we'll simply push the right analog stick forward just like we do a wrist shot and there we get a nice dump right there and in this case we happen to get lucky and one of our players gets to the puck okay let's say we don't like the skill stick or we don't like how the aim is set up and we want to change it what we're going to do from the main menu is we are going to go to more that's the th fourth item on the right and at the very bottom it's going to say settings so more and then settings we'll select that and from there all we need to do is go to quick settings so select quick settings right there and then from there you can simply change it however you want uh, we've got it on skill stick right now there's a hybrid option and of course there's NHL 94 where you just push two buttons and you don't have to worry about aiming and then right here we're looking at the on ice trainer you can have it off so there's no hints uh, you can have an adaptive beginner you can change it however you want and then for the shot aim if you don't want it on you can switch to aim assist uh, like we do right there and uh, that is pretty much it for more tips on NHL 22 there's a playlist on this channel I will put a link in the description as well as link in the comment section. Thanks for watching.